What is up everyone and welcome to the Techscapades. Today we have a review for a gaming mouse that's under anyone's budget. The Elephant WEM1021, more commonly known as the Elephant Sasquatch, is a mouse with decent features that a gaming mouse would be expected to have. It comes in both black and white models and out of the box, you get the mouse and that's it. The mouse is decently built with high quality feeling plastic, although the mouse is a bit on the lighter side because of the absence of metal weights inside something that you would expect in more expensive mice. The mouse design is sleek and is very comfortable, albeit not being an ambidextrous design. It's also fairly sized to people with large hands but in comparison, the mouse is actually larger than your regular A4 tech mouse that some may be accustomed to like I am. It has on-the-fly DPI adjustments which can adjust the mouse sensitivity from 800 DPI to 1200 to 1800 and 2400 DPI. The mouse has a translucent logo of the brand which has an RGB LED behind it, but RGB fans hold back because there is no way to adjust the color that the LED emits. It has a specific set of colors that simply transitions to the next color and does a continuous loop. The scroll wheel is silent as advertised and is translucent to display the DPI setting currently selected. It has a forward and backward button that can be easily accessed by the thumb and can be remapped to do other functions, although Elephant doesn't supply a program for this adjustment. It has a blue optical sensor and the main selling point for this mouse is its switches. It uses a different type of switch that is quieter and more silent than your traditional Omron switches. Here's a sample comparison. The only problem that I have with the mouse is that the oils in your hand do stick to the surface, since the finish on the plastic is a mix of glossy and matte, but nonetheless I'm more happy with the mouse. So all in all, do I recommend this mouse? The answer is an astounding yes. If you're on a strict budget and you want to improve your peripherals without spending a fortune, then this mouse is for you. Although the switches are something to get used to and the size may be uncomfortable for some, I think that this mouse is worth its asking price of 495 pesos. That's it for this video guys. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it down below. If you have any opinions, go ahead and comment them down in the comment section. Share this with your friends and in social media where you can like our Facebook page for updates and behind the scenes. This has been the Techscapades. Thanks for watching.